Hello and welcome to Texia Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about extending constructors. This is part of a much larger series on object-oriented programming in JavaScript and this is the fifth tutorial in it. So if you want to start from the beginning of the series, you can do it by clicking on the link here. What is extending constructors means? In classical object-oriented programming where you have base class with a bunch of properties and methods, you can extend it to make a subclass which will inherit all the properties and methods from the base class. So we are doing the similar thing here. Uh, instead of class, we are extending constructor from base constructor to subconstructor. In last tutorial, we looked at how to set uh, one constructor prototype to another, basically extending a constructor. But in this tutorial, we are going to look at how to actually extend the constructor itself, uh, calling base constructor from sub. So let's create our base constructor called mammal. So I would say let m a double m a l equal to, which is a function, constructor function, should I say, and has a property called legs. So I can set it here called this dot legs equal to legs and now we can add a prototype method to it prototype equal to I'll have two method mammal can uh, walk so I can say return walking a mammal can sleep Now, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know if there is a mammal that doesn't sleep. So, but let's assume that all mammals sleep. So we say return sleeping. So this mammal has two methods, walking, he walks and he sleeps. Now let's create our subconstructor which is a bet. So let's say let bet equal to also a function. Now a bet's constructor should also have legs. So I can say legs and some bats can be vegetarian, some eat meat. So I can say is vegetarian. And I can, the first property, I can call mammals um, constructor so I don't have to really set this dot leg equal to legs here. So if I want to call uh, like a super when you call uh, from the subclass. So here I would say uh, mammal dot call this and legs. If you don't know what call function is, you can look at it. I have a tutorial on it on call apply and bind. I'll provide a link here. Basically, what it's doing here is uh, setting this log legs equal to legs property here um, using this uh, argument that is passed as legs. And then it has its own property called is vegetarian. I can say this dot vegetarian equal to is vegetarian so this is a bats constructor now as for the prototype I can set bats prototype to mammals prototype so I can say bat dot uh, prototype equal to object dot create mammals prototype remember we looked at the object.create method in previous tutorial so basically it sets a reference uh, in bats prototype which is nothing but mammals prototype so it will inherit all the method that mammal has which is walk and sleep now the interesting thing to notice here that 
if I console log bet before this statement, sol.dir bet, and if I just don't execute this line and look at it, I would see a function because bat is a function. And then if I look at the prototype, I have a constructor which is set to this function itself, right? So I have function which has legs and is vegetarian as arguments. Now, let's say if I activate this line and then if I console log after this and run it again. So now if I look at the prototype, it basically sets uh, mammals prototype to best prototype. So you would lose a constructor function here. So basically it wipe, wipes out uh, bet's prototype. So if you have added any prototype property to bet before this statement, it would get wiped out. So you need to set it after that. So what you have to do is here now again, so you have to say bet dot prototype dot constructor equal to bet. So it will set the constructor back to this bet. And so if I now look at a bet, I would see a prototype and it would have a constructor. So now it sets it back again. So this is important thing to notice. Also, additional to these methods, let's say if I want to set, uh, since bets can fly, I can have another method for bet called fly. So I can say bet dot prototype dot fly equal to, and it would say return fly. So now if I look at bet, I would see in its prototype it has constructor and it has its own prototype method called fly. And it's in its proto, you would see sleep and walk, which it's inheriting from the mammal. All right, now it's time to create our object from this bet. So now, since bat is a constructor, I can say fruit bat. So I'm going to create fruit bat from bat using a new keyword. And the first argument um, pass, it would be legs, like here. So let's say it has four legs. And since fruit bat is a vegetarian, I would say it's true. No, I have to say equal to. And if I look at the uh, fruit bat, now it, it is a vegetarian, has four legs. And I can say, and I can call now those methods sleep and let's say fly. If I run it, I would get sleeping and flying. This is how inheritance work in JavaScript. It's a little bit complex. But in a few tutorials, we are going to look at the new class keyword. So this all would be much simpler. But remember, inside those class keyword, it's doing the same thing as we would learn. So in next tutorial, we are going to look at object literals and how to extend object literals. Um, basically setting prototype property of one object literal to another. I provide a link at the end of the tutorial and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, please provide constructive comment, like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.